and I am Akan Usen. Lagos State Government has warned developers and builders to desist from wetland encroachment as a private estate being developed on a wetland in Bagada was sealed up. Commissioner for the Environment and Water Resources, Tokumba Wahab, made this call during an interview at an inspection tour to some enforcement sites and some ongoing project sites. Wahab said wetlands are natural habitations whose value cannot be replaced by money. As such, it is essential to do more to preserve nature and protect the wetlands from further encroachment, as it has recently been experienced in most parts of the state. He emphasized that wetlands across the state, such as places like Iju, Ejibu, Badagri, Ikorudu, Itoking, and many more, which have been encroached upon for estate development without due consideration for environmental guidelines, will be reclaimed by the government. Special advisor on environment on Lakule Rotimiakodu implored all residents of the state to desist from acts of using refuse to reclaim wetlands or dumping of waste on dr in drainage channels, adding that the joint efforts of the people with the government will curb the incidence of flooding to the barest minimum in the state. Lagos State Government has announced the commencement of an e-call-up system for managing truck movements within the Lekki Ekbe Free Trade Zone from 23rd September 2024. Commissioner for Transportation Uluwashiung Oshiemi explained that the application of an e-call-up system will help synchronize movement of trucks assessing the Lekki Deep Sea Port and other industries within that corridor, starting from Eleko Junction to Lekki Free Trade Zone. Highlighting the state and federal government's plans on road network expansion and intermodal transport systems to streamline vehicular traffic and enhancing free movement in one of Lagos's most critical economic zones, Oshimi opined that the e collab system will control the corridor. Also speaking on the development, special advisor to the governor on transportation, Shalagiwa, who is saddled with the enforcement of the e collab system, mentioned is that an interim arrangement is being put in place to decongest the roads through evacuation of all illegal tankers from the red zone by a joint task force of the state. The state government has reiterated that adopting the environmental and social impact assessment ACR process is a must to ensure sustainable implementation of all developmental projects in the state. State Commissioner for the Environment and Water Resources, Tokumba Wahab, emphasized this at a one-day stakeholders engagement workshop with financial institutions and professional bodies, stating that its adoption has become necessary for all professionals in the built environment in line with global best practices. Wahab said the theme embracing environmental and social impact assessment as a critical management and sustainable tool was apt as ESIA must be embraced by both the private and public sectors to achieve sustainable development. He said Lagos State remains the preferred destination for many businesses operating within the various sectors of Nigeria's economy, saying this preference can be likened to a two-sided coin, which on one hand stated that Lagos is open to economic prosperity and growth, and on the other hand comes with various types of environmental and social challenges. What have said the establishment of industrial facilities, creation of new settlements, and construction of infrastructure all come with huge adverse environmental impacts, ranging from pollution of various environmental media to sometimes irreversible environmental degradation, if not properly managed. And that's all for the state news at 7. Maintain adequate distance from the vehicle ahead of you to avoid collision. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. On X at Traffic Radio 961, Facebook Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram Lagos Traffic Radio 961, on YouTube, subscribe and watch us live on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website on www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Songwolu administration organized a mentorship seminar for over 1,000 youths on the theme, A Greekpreneur, Strategy for Wealth Creation. 
You can get more details on the Lake Estate Government website. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. And that ends the news broadcast compiled by Zaina Wadebeshing. I am Akan Usen. Thanks for listening and please stay safe. Good evening. Thank you.